All right, the elites are now suggesting that we ration to save the world from climate change, of course. Now, one documentary out of the Netherlands shows us how they're going to try to do this by going after farmers. The video, the filmmaker, next. Rationing, here we come. Well, a new paper proposes it as a policy, a policy option to deal with the climate crisis. Authors Nathan Wood, Robert Lawler, and Josie Freer say it can be considered as a policy that would be implemented as part of a broader, pluralistic response to climate change. Now, they see rationing as likely a question of how, not if it happens. So what does rationing look like in practice? Well, 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 the Netherlands has just announced plans to reduce livestock numbers by a third, all in the name of nitrogen reduction. A new documentary on the Dutch farmers' struggle to survive is eye-opening. They have declared that nitrogen is the major problem. Well, I'm an expert in nitrogen, and I dare to say it is not. You get uh, governments and, and, and politicians who, who know better how to farm than we know uh, how to farm. We have a food shortage, a water shortage, an energy shortage. It's, it's catastrophe upon catastrophe. The farmers are targeted, and why are the farmers targeted? Because they have land. The main issue here is fear. Once the, the people are, are frightened, you can do whatever you want with them. I, I always say it's better to die fighting uh, than, to, than to sit on your knees. Joining us now is James Patrick, director of the film Nitrogen 2000. Now, why do you think news of this European uh, government um, seizing this much land isn't getting more attention uh, so far in the United States? I mean, this is a shocking amount of land being seized. Yeah, it's a huge story. I mean, we're talking about a third of Holland being nationalized. I mean, that means food reduction, scarcity, and as we were talking earlier with, with my producers, this is forced scarcity. This isn't scarcity that has to happen. The government's forcing us. What, what, is, what is the purpose here? For what? It appears to be a part of a bigger story, one uh, to, to sort of a hostile takeover of the world, world's food industry. Um, under While we were in, all being locked down, uh, big, large private asset companies were buying up uh, companies and getting control of the food system. So um, kneecapping the Dutch farmers that produce 6 percent of the, of the food for Europe is, is a, a big part of changing the industry. And the goal then would be for people to get used to having less, right? Lowering the standard of living, lowering expectations for people, and some fear that American farmers could end up face facing eventually, especially if Joe Biden somehow gets elected again in 2024, these kinds of regulations here. Forbes is writing about this, saying with last year's Inflation Reduction Act now funneling $20 billion of climate funds into ag, American farmers could face similar pressures not only our energy security, but also our agricultural production and food security depend on fossil fuels, and Americans would be foolish to destroy it. Well, James, of course we'd be foolish, but that hasn't stopped them before. Yeah, it was just strange. I thought it was strange to, to hear all these different arguments demonizing cows all the time, whether it's the, the burps and the farts and the methane and, in this case, the nitrogen. And you know, here they're arguing that uh, the nitrogen levels from the, the, the pee and the poop of the cows is going to migrate over to these Nature 2000 nature preserve areas and help some plants grow too much. So it's not a climate change argument. It's this biodiversity argument, which sounded very strange. So um, I, I think it's because 25 percent of the earth is used to graze animals, and it could be a way to get control of that land and at the same time restructure the food system. Well, and, and we know people like Bill Gates have bought up huge tracts of land in the United States, a lot of it farmland, yeah. correct? Correct, yeah. And he, in this case, it's being nationalized by the state. But there's half, uh, half a dozen NGOs that are being used to promote the policy, paid for by the taxpayer. And then there's a 25 billion euro fund being used to force purchase the land. This is what they're trying to do now. So on the 11th of this month, there's a big protest in Holland to push back on this. So I'd encourage people to, to wake up and see that this is a global issue. No, and this... Holland could be a test bed. 
Yeah. James, we appreciate it. And I will continue to follow up on this with you and on this show. Thank you very much. Now, we've told you what Biden and Buttigieg were up to today. But what about Kamala? Oh, the last bite will show you.